Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you three tips on how to clean up your hard drive in Windows 7. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the subscribe button. Okay, so at the Windows 7 desktop, if you open up File Explorer and if you left click on Computer and your C drive here, this is where your operating system is going to be installed on. So if you just right click on there and go to Properties, uh, first thing we need to do is Disk Cleanup. What this is going to do is going to look for files on your system that you could remove to free up some disk space. Okay, you can scroll down here and you can unselect what you don't want to delete. Uh, like for example here, I might want to empty my recycle bin. Uh, so if you just scroll down, so here we can see there's 293 megabytes of temporary files. Obviously don't need those, so you can remove them. Windows Update Cleanup, it can remove quite a lot there as well. So after you've selected what you want to remove, just click on OK and delete files. It's going to take a minute or two, so I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, now that is finished, the window's closed. So if you click on the Tools tab, uh, next thing we want to do is defrag your hard disk. So if you just click on Defrag Now, uh, you can see it's never run, so if you just click on defrag disk, what this is going to do, it's going to move the files around on your machine to put it into like the most optimised um, area. Uh, this should help speed up your disk because it can access the files faster. So it analyses it and then it actually does the defrag. I'm just going to close that. And the last thing we need to do is check the disk for errors. Um, so what we could do is if you click on check now, tick both boxes and click on start it's not going to be able to run the check disk now so it's going to schedule if you click on schedule disk check and click on ok then if you restart your machine the scan will run at next system startup so if you do that it should take five to ten minutes to run it will then boot to the desktop and it will fix any corruption, file corruption it will find. Um, and then if you do those three tasks, it will make sure that your hard disk is in top condition. But okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.